Hello friends, I am Sanjay Gupta. In this video, I am going to discuss about a program which is written in C++. But before that, I want to share my information. You can note uh, my contact number and email ID so that we can discuss uh, difficult topics. Uh, you can uh, visit my website. You can download my app TechImage, uh, which contains tutorials regarding C, C++, PHP, uh, Java, ethical hacking, etc. You can download PPTs from tutorials.techimage.in. You can read various books which I have authored. You can subscribe and watch my YouTube channel uh, where various programming related videos are available. So follow these information uh, which will be helpful for your study and placement purposes. Now coming on to the program, the objective of the program is to pass objects as arguments and uh, to add two complex numbers. So passing objects as argument is method and the example will be to add two complex numbers. So uh, IO stream header file is included, then namespace std is used, then uh, name of class is complex, then two variables uh, real and imaginary uh, are declared here. Then in public section, I have uh, declared three uh, methods read, then second method is print, and third method is sum. So in sum, you can see that I have uh, mentioned complex twice. So this complex is known as uh, here argument type because I have to pass objects as arguments that that's why I have used complex uh, here and I am passing two arguments uh, that is why I have used complex twice. After completion of class I have defined read function with scope resolution uh, then uh, see in see out statements are available which are showing uh, the masses which will be displayed on console and R and I will read the real and imaginary values from console. Then print uh, function is defined which will display real and imaginary values on console. Then sum function is defined with the help of scope, re scope resolution operator. It is receiving two uh, arguments C1 and C2. So C1 and C2 are uh, formal arguments. They will receive values from the function call. Then these two statements are written r equals to c1 dot r plus c2 dot r and i equals to c1 dot i plus c2 dot i for addition of two complex numbers. So c1 and c2 are representing explicit arguments whereas r and i is representing implicit argument. So implicit and explicit arguments you must have uh, watched my uh, tutorial uh, which is related to this concept uh, what is implicit and what is explicit. But uh, here I am uh, again explaining this concept. So uh, coming to the main function, here uh, you can see the calling statement c3 dot sum c1 comma c2. So in this statement, c3 is implicit argument and c1 and c2 are explicit argument. So friends, through uh, which uh, through uh, the object uh, which is used to call a function is known as implicit argument, and the arguments which we pass inside uh, parentheses are known as explicit arguments. So these C1 and C2 uh, will be passed into formal arguments C1 and C2 uh, which will be added further and this C3 is considered as implicit argument. So implicit arguments uh, attributes can be used without any dot operator. So in the definition you can see that R and I have been used without any dot operator. So they are uh, related to implicit argument and remaining attributes uh, we have used uh, with dot operator so they uh, belongs to explicit arguments so addition will be stored inside c3 then c3 dot print will uh, print the result on console so with the help of this example we will be able to add uh, two complex numbers easily so now i am compiling this code so no errors and warnings are available now I am executing this code. It is asking for real and imaginary values for first complex number. So I am entering 2 and 2. Now it is asking for second. I am entering 4 and 4. So you can see the result real equals to 6 and imaginary equals to 6 which is the addition of two complex numbers. So with the help of uh, this function sum uh, we are able to add two complex numbers and result is stored inside the implicit argument which is C3. So implement this code in your laptop or desktop so that you will be able to understand how we can pass arguments and functions. So you can note down uh, my information again so that 
uh, these information will be helpful for your study and placement purposes so follow these information thank you for watching this video